Okay. 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 Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Alright, we can totally do this thing. I am sitting in the right place. I've got the thing running. And I know where to look at the camera. Right there. So I think that we are, in fact... We're here! Excellent. Hi there, it's your old friend Tobias. Yet another non-commute tribute arc show right here at an undisclosed location in San Antonio, Texas on this, the 3rd of June, 2020. Um, which is actually a little over a month away from my 53rd birthday. I'm not going to give any more details on that. Um, not that I think anybody's going to hack my identity, but, you know. I, I look at myself and I wonder, how the heck can somebody who looks like this still be alive? <laughs> so, got ourselves a show to do here. I think I got it in the right slide. Got the right slide. We've got the thing going. Got the tile over here. The microphone is on. I have my set list written down on a piece of paper so I don't forget it. I think I'm, we may actually manage to get this far into the show without a technical screw-up, which is unusual. I think we've done that successfully once, so thank you, Kay. I appreciate the happy early birthday stuff. Don't worry, if you're on Facebook, you will be notified out the Waitangis uh, as to when my actual birthday hits, and um, that's a good thing, I think. I think it's always good to continue to live. I, um, I like being alive. Not that fond of the alternative. looks like it's tuned which is impressive considering the fact that i didn't know if it was going to be this is still an amazing instrument this is an outdoor ukulele from the outdoor ukulele company based out of oregon it is a polycarbonate unit and uh it's pretty much fair proof the one thing that i don't have on this that i would want is a little strap the little nut here for me to hang a strap off so i could hang a strap here and here so right now I have to hang a strap here and then run like some cord or line or a little buckle or something weird up here. And it makes it a little interesting to tote around. And yes, Amy is live with us as well. Because she can actually see the quotes uh, uh, and the, the presence that I can't because she's actually looking at the uh, thing on, on her tablet. That makes her an assistant producer. Or perhaps my social media person, I don't know. No, tech support. Tech support. <laughs> well, I've been tech support. Huh? Backstage support. Backstage support. This is true. I'm the large, gaudy, loud thing in the front, and Amy is the uh, support infrastructure person backstage who makes everything happen. Or at least helps it to happen. Let's do a couple things here, shall we? I'm just going to move a couple of things around on the screens here that you can't see, and that's okay. Um, mostly because I want to be able to see what I'm doing in many directions. Earlier today, I made a mistake, and I looked out at the sun, which is in a window right over there, and this light, which is right above my head. And in doing so, I gave myself some very exciting retinal afterimage burns. And so it'd be very interesting to see how well or how poorly I am able to read my cheat notes. I've only been doing this for three months, so I don't have all the songs down pat yet. There's some songs that I know by heart, but not all of them. And uh, the first one I'm going to do is one that I don't know by heart, because even though I wrote it, um, I memorized it. Just because you write it doesn't mean you have to know the song, right? I guess, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me see. Where am I? Oh, it's in the wrong it's a wrong folder there, Tobias. Look at the right place. The Troubadour Ballad, also known as All I Want, The Most Important Person at the Fair. I'm going to sing it as an opener this time instead of a closer because I am a tenor, and this one is right on that tenor baritone line. K would be fantastic at it. I will just kind of like, especially if I've been singing for a while. But uh, so we're going to try this 
as an opener and see what happens. accident but I haven't started singing yet so it's important it's okay yep all I want is for everyone to love me all I need is for everyone to care all I desire is just unbridled admiration I want to be the most important person at the fair another idiot in burlap wandering around a blasted pasture trying to attract attention from the people in the shire another idiot in burlap acting out to get some attention just wants to be famous if only for a while cause all i want is for everyone to love me all i need is for everyone to care all i desire is just unbridled admiration i want to be the most important person at the fair the acting bug in high school ready costumes hey look so cool hitch my wagon to the fair to see where i could go these villagers are my sis and brothers all shouting louder than the others cause at run fair everyone's the star of their own show cause all i want is for everyone to love me all i need is for everyone to care all i desire is just unbridled admiration the most important person at the fair. Worked all year to make my costume, hand sewn every single button. The research that went into this just borders on obscene. So pardon me if I sound grumpy, but I feel so blasted frumpy. Why does this one get all the attention? Just cause she's the queen. Cause all I want is for everyone to love me. unbridled admiration i want to be the most important person at the fair let's do that one more time all i want is for everyone to love me all i need is for everyone to care all i desire is just unbridled admiration i want to be the most important person at the fair i want to be the most important person in this chair I want to be in Winter's Tale Exit, pursued by a bear. <laughs> I got the pursued by a bear line in, and I'm happy about that. Uh, it doesn't take much to amuse me. Case in point, all of this. Oh, yeah, we will, uh, okay, I will send you a link to my Evernotes, because I have all my song lyrics in my Evernotes, along with rough chord approximations, which, uh, thanks to the musical uh, thing known as Drift, have changed dramatically since I first wrote them down. Not the actual chords, mostly where I play the bits as I gain um, musical skill and talent uh, slowly, laboriously, painfully, but it is a gain, bit by bit by bit. <laughs> yes, Kay. I think we could probably get ourselves chased away from something. Assuming they let us both in there at the same time. You know, I think we might actually... That might actually be the first uh, incarnation of the Valiant Attempt. Which is my name for a band. I think that's a good name for a band. Uh, it's a name that uh, does what it says on the tin. And so, uh, yeah. Oh, this song course started in... D. And then... A lot of A. Now this next song starts in A minor. Can you guess which one it is? I'll give you a hint. R. Yes, it's that one. If I can remember it. There we go. <laughs> this is written for specifically for the pirate audience. At Renaissance festivals, you got a pirate audience. You can't not, hey, spray for pirates, they come back. Come, listen to me tail, me heart, he's heed well to me call. We'll launch our ships and stealthily, we'll glide over the wall. We'll land as soft as feathers, and we'll deftly pick their locks. 
We'll pounce upon our prey, me boys, and then we'll steal their socks. It's a pirate's in dirigibles, the air be where we roam. Just looking for a decent pair without a holy toe. It's a pirate's in the clouds, me boys, the sky be where we roam. We'd all turn on as sailors if we just could make our own. The City Watch, they know our ship, each one does know our names. They stalk down us poor sailors, and upon us heap their shame. We'll ransack every port and town, for hosiery we adore. Tis not so much a fetish, more a way of keeping score. It's a pirate, it's a pirate's in dirigibles, the sky be where we roam. Just looking for a decent pair without a holy toe. Suck pirates in the clouds, me boys, the air be where we roam. We'd all turn on as sailors if we just could make our own. We'd almost had our fill, me lads, but we made one stop more. Accosted a fair maiden coming out of the yarn store. This plucky lass, she was quite brave. She did not flinch a bit. She taught, scared us down defiantly, and taught us how to knit. Huh. That ain't hard. So pirates of the sky no more, no longer do we roam. We've all turned on the sailors who know how to turn a toe. So pirates of the sky no more, we've settled down at home. We've all turned on the sailors now that we can make our own. <laughs> In case you're wondering why I giggle when I do this song, it's because I can't believe I'm getting away with doing this song. Simply enough, there are things that I do that I can't explain and or or justify. Um, this hat being one of those things. Uh, these songs being another one of those things. And um, I want to bring something up that I uh, made note of on my Facebook feed. I posted a memory where I had said that you really haven't heard The Stars and Stripes Forever until you've heard it played by Gorillaz which is a throwback to a radio show that I did two years ago in which, at one point, the uh, protagonist, Thrash Crankshaft P.I., that always happens after his name, uh, was being pursued by a, a marching band made up entirely of gorillas uh, playing John Philip Sousa's The Stars and Stripes Forever. And this went down the usual rabbit hole of goofiness that posts like that on Facebook go to until my friend Michael Van Slyke said that you really haven't heard Dr. Seuss until you've heard it in the original Klingon. Now, I don't know if he remembers me telling him this, but once upon a time, a long time ago, way back in the midst of California, in Marin County at the Great Northern California Renaissance Pleasure Fair, or also known as RPFN, at Black Point Forest, there was, uh, I think it was my second year as a sea dog, and we have to get in line and fill out a bunch of forms. You have to go, there's a long line sticking all the way from God's creation to near the front gate where security in the office is. And I'm just out there and I am basically wired. Because this is my second year of doing fair and I'm discovering I can get away with a lot. Um, so this goofy, bouncy guy in his mid-twenties. Something gets into his head. And they start talking about Klingon. And I came up with green eggs and gach. Yes, green eggs and gach. Because Dr. Seuss is much more moving in the original Klingon. I did an entire four and a half minutes on green eggs and gach. I will not eat them with a bach. I will not eat them on a mach. I do not like green eggs and gach. I will not eat a mach bach bach. I will not do the entire five minutes because, well, no one deserves that. <laughs> These other people just stuck in line with me. Apparently they were entertained by it, which tells me that they really didn't spend a lot of time with me prior to that. Oh, we got here. Hey, Roy! Yep, and Chris. Second Chris. The ding, yes. The ding on uh, Sock Pirates um, is 
just there to see how self-indulgent I can get. Um, the fact that it's this little tiny thing and not this big overblown thing is just comedy. And that's the way my world works and that's the way my brain works. Let's get a little bit less goofy. Still kind of goofy, but a little bit less goofy. And um, just a tad... Um, Get a tad uh, allegorical, and maybe even just slightly messianic with the next song. <clears throat> Let me see here. It starts in D. The first song I did started in D. The second song I did started in A minor, and went back to D. <clears throat> John Barley Corn to the seas gone down in a ship both bold and new. The thirstest lake of Captain Drake and all his loyal crew To venture brave through wind and wave the Spaniard for to halt And though he die of Spanish grape, he'll live as English malt So we'll strike him down and we'll bind him round and we'll serve him worse than that We will grind his bones between two stones and we'll bung him in a vat then we'll drink his health in nut-brown ale, and we'll raise our glasses high. For before that he can live again, John Barleycorn must die. John Barleycorn's to the court and gone, all dressed in fine array. In pewter clad from toe to head, to win a lady gay. The poetry that he declaims will stand him in good stead. For the ladies there all do declare they love it more than bread. So we'll strike him down and we'll bind him round and we'll serve him worse than that. We will grind his bones between two stones and we'll bung him in a vat. Then we'll drink his health in nut brown ale and we'll raise our glasses high. For before that he can live again, John Barleycorn must die. John Barleycorn's to the hangman gone, this tale I will untold. For Robin, honest Englishmen, of their silver and their gold. In a grave unmarked by cross or stone, John Barleycorn is lain. Till the summer rains have come and gone. And he rises up again. I still think this has become somewhat messianic. So we'll strike him down and we'll bind him round and we'll serve him worse than that. We will grind his bones between two stones and we'll bung him in a vat. Then we'll drink his health in nut brown ale and we'll raise our glasses high. For before that he can live again, John Barleycorn must die. So we'll strike him down and we'll serve him worse than that. We'll grind his bones and we'll bung him in a vat. Then we'll drink his health in nut brown ale and we'll raise our glasses high. For before that he can live again, John Barleycorn must die. Whew! Yes, K, okay, this makes it a D song. D for the key of D, where the D stands for quality. I don't even know where I'm going with this. I, oh, goodness me. These things go faster than I expect them to. And um, sometimes they go, it feels like, am I actually going to be able to fill the time that I want to fill? Apparently so, by all accounts. Uh, mostly because I do the songs and I also talk a bit. That's all right. Hmm. Today's bizarre fizzy concoction is Canada Dry Sparkling Seltzer Water Mandarin Orange Flavor. I am trying to drink less sodas with less caffeine involved and less diet colas, and I'm getting to the thought point where I'm actually really enjoying these uh, sparkling seltzer thingies because it gives me the fizzy water that the uh, six-year-old in me wants without the 4,000 calories that the 50-year-old is trying to avoid. What are these strings for, anyway? So, one more song. Have we actually gotten this far already? I'm really startled by that. There used to be I would pack... The, uh, the first couple of things I did, I did, like, did lots and lots and lots of songs. And, uh... 
Yeah, Canada Dry. Okay, huh? The joke goes, the sign said, drink Canada Dry! So he went up north, and he tried. Yep, that joke is just as terrible as I thought it was going to be. Um, this next last song is one I have been doing for a little while, and apparently I get rather enthusiastic in it, and I get loud. Um, and that can be a challenge sometimes. Which is why I'm glad that I'm here in the house, because I only have three entities in this house to annoy besides myself. My wife, Amy, and two cats. And the cats just run away. They go hide under something. Or go downstairs. Because mm -hmm. we're up in the second floor, what I like to refer to as the tower. Because it's romantic. Let me see here. <clears throat> All right. We're doing, so well. we're doing pretty good so far, I think. Yeah. See? I didn't forget to change the tile. I did not forget to change the card. Whew.
about my friend Ariel Gray, Rob Hillard, who is my uh, dark half, apparently. We have determined this. We are, in fact, uh, two halves of, of a much larger and stranger whole, by all accounts. Y'all... Once got mixed up. Yeah, and once got mixed up. Amy once thought that he was me, ran up behind him and gave him a great big hug, and then, you don't smell like Matthew. Hello, Amy, <laughs> said Rob. That's the other thing. I love Rob dearly, and... Um, Rob sounded like Doug the Dog long before Doug the Dog existed. His introduction to me was, Hello, my name is Rob. It is a verb. It means to steal. I love you, man. <laughs> Y'all, it is once again where we come sliding in sideways on another Troubadourc non-commute show. This is show 45. Sheesh. Eventually, I'll begin to get good at some of these songs. Um, in my ear, I know that there were some things I messed up. I don't know if you noticed them or not. If you're having too good a time to notice, then I must be doing something right. Well, let's go down the thing, shall we? First and foremost, tip jars, of course, are at uh, Patreon. Oh, sorry, PayPal.me slash theadequate, Kofi.com slash theadequate. Robert and Rick and Emily have all dropped a little cash in the bucket, and that cash goes to uh, more equipment and software and uh, programs to like pull chords out of songs and possibly music lessons or talent or uh, therapy, something like that. Uh, you can, of course, also support Adequacy in Our Lifetime by going to patreon.com slash theadequate. Uh, like Alicia and Lorreen and Brian and John and Relly and Richard and Kaylee and BK have done. And in case you're wondering, it's set up, the, the Patreon payments are currently set up to go out on the 5th. So uh, it's another couple days before that happens. And I am working on getting a full-time committed video camera, um, whether it's a webcam or whatever, uh, so that way I don't have to worry about using my phone for everything because i got to put the phone up, I'm going to take the phone down, put it up, take it down, put it up, take it down, which is why these shots always seem slightly off-kilter and never quite looking at the background the same way twice. So now you know. Rainbow. <laughs> oh, uh, SoundCloud.com is where I put all the recorded stuff that's not video. I have put two more things out there, one of which was a therapy uh, track that I recorded when I decided I was doing a studio album. And then I also did the cowboy song, which if you listen to it, you have to, you are actually required by law to teach someone else the cowboy song. I learned it from my friend Meredith on a phone call, long distance, when I was in Boston, of all places, a long time ago. So I got to pass it on to you guys. SoundCloud.com slash Matthew Dash Laguerre. The old Tobias the Adequate non-commute Troubadour shows are listed at Facebook.com slash Tobias the Adequate. You can also find them at YouTube.com, little tiny print up here. Uh slash MP Laguerre under the Troubadourc listing. All the newest shows go first at the top of the screen. That way you don't have to watch me fumble horrifically through like several of the early shows as I was figuring out what the heck I was doing. Carpe Diem Comics is the official emotional support comic shop of Tobias the Adequate Troubadourc show. Anything else I do, let's be honest about this. They are located physically in McKinney, Texas and on the interwebs at Carpe Diem Comics online.square.site. Check them out. Uh, feel free to please do support your local comic shops, your local gaming shops, your local craft stores, your local anything stores. Support the locals because they need the money more than the corporations do. And uh, it's kind of cool. We actually went back and picked up some to-go food from uh, one of our favorite Thai places. They were open again. I was very happy about that. And they remembered us. And there's something very cool about being remembered by a place that you go to a lot. It just makes you kind of feel warm and fuzzy inside. The curry also made you feel warm and fuzzy inside, but that's like capsaicin. So, yeah, there you go. Ah, oh, here we are. 45 shows. Um, the way things are looking right now, I'm just going to keep doing this thing until they tell me that I absolutely positively have to come into the office every dang day. And that won't happen because the company I'm working for is a, num is a safety company, so that won't happen real soon. Um, I'm going in for like half days here and there because there's some stuff you got to do as a boots-on-the-ground person when you're a technical support dude. And that is me. Um, the word of the day is corn hobble. Corn hobble is the act of hitting someone in the face with a fish. Use this knowledge wisely, because you can only corn hobble you can only corn hobble somebody for the first time, once. After that, it's why are you hitting me with a fish, you idiot? That's it for this time around. Uh, things are still weird out there, so be careful. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Do what you need to do, but do remember that you are allowed to take the occasional break and recover. Uh, if you don't think about that, then it can grind you down real hard, and there's a lot of us that are really working to keep from being ground down. 
and I kind of hope that what I do has made things a little bit more tolerable for y'all, giving you a chance to just be goofy for a half hour or so. Ah, oh, so uh, that's about it for this time around. We'll do the little flip over to this card here. Tell your friends, tell your neighbors, tell your enemies. It will confuse them. And remember this, folks. I value each and every one of you. You're not a statistic. You're not a number. You're a person that has actually chosen to spend a little time with me, and as such, you have increased my quality of life. I hope I've increased yours a little bit. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.